By the time you're watching this, there should be four more One Piece videos before the end of the year. By that time, I'd love us to hit 700 patrons total. As of writing this on the 18th of September, we have 621. Please ignore members on Patreon. It's a stupid metric that means literally nothing. I will update the numbers under the pinned comment on these One Piece videos so you'll know where we're at. Thanks so much for any and all support. It all makes a massive difference right now, and I hope to see you there by December 31st. Bless her eternal heart, our very own Nami has landed her first big hit on the enemy. Oh, I like me some wordplay like that. Showing that because I personally think it's so awesome that she can whip out new fake bodies at will. It gives her a serious amount of fighting power. Another thing you gotta love about Nami is how she can adapt during battle in spite of never being one for fighting before coming aboard the crew. She's totally learned that since. <laughs> These quick attacks still gotta be praised. Nami is great as stated, but still physically weak. She has to keep using her head to win, whereas she can use raw power and ability. And of course, it's a trick that may allow her to win the day here, but that's perfectly fine. Can you imagine if she was all of a sudden super strong? Oda planned this beautifully, I think. Have one more. Great result. Genuinely, oddly proud of Nami. <laughs> I can't help it, I love this song so much that when I hear it and it's mixed with great looking visuals like my boy Frankie heading up to where Nami is, I gotta win it! Nice and handy recap of where pretty much everyone is and what they're doing. Glad to see Robin for the first time take a perfect chance to get away and delay his plans. Luffy basically bit at his cheek, I think, no? Either way, he landed a serious attack leading to this happening. Sick looking damage animation at the end there too. You gotta appreciate the effort there, really. <laughs> Nami essentially showing some authority over him as a would-be new member soon enough. I don't hate it. <laughs> Ow! Nice courage. Frankie is basically me here. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned this once in the last video, but it's worth bringing up again. The story playing out like this stops the logical question being asked, how could they not defeat Zoro easily by now? <laughs> And then, of course, the last win is immediately followed up by a pair of very serious attacks for the first time that even knocks Zoro's sword out of Usopp's hand. I also brought up this during the last video, how I'm also so impressed by Oda's battles not feeling as though they're each happening in a contained bubble, but can spill over like this. Him saying that just made me very sad there for a moment, but he's also right. He's clearly not looking good at all. <laughs> Giving that max wins because A, I loved seeing Zoro fly into combat to protect his Nakama without a single bit of doubt, and B, the attack was beautifully animated too. One of those times where Zoro's voice is filled with emotion, in this case, worry for his friend. That was damn good. Once more, we can see some excellent looking damage animation on the outside there as well. 
sure why, but that looked straight up glorious to see Frankie diving in right behind him in order to fish him out should he be right, and he hopefully changes back. It's funny how just that sound and that visual lets us know exactly what just happened and what's about to go down, baby. Yup, ending like that. Looking as good as that did, scores a dead easy win. A really awesome look at the island there. That's how weak he is, that he can't even run down a bunch of stairs. Meanwhile, Robin's having no issues at all. That was cool, but also annoying to have happened to her. But it's also got me slightly hyped though, thinking of a future battle and how our crew will beat it. Let's go. <laughs> Don't question me on it, but now feels like a really good time for no reason to give Robin her win for being in the anime. <laughs> Let's be honest, we all knew my baby Chop Chop would be A-OK, -okay, but it's still a win to see it happen. These two still being totally useful in this arc. Like I said in the past two videos, I really thought they'd be comic relief only, but I'm happy to see that that's not been the case at all. I don't want any questions. Quit questioning me on why Nami would get her win now of all times for being in the anime still. <laughs> Coming up with this very logical question, rather than leaving it because of all the fights going on, just shows me how Oda has expertly been able to juggle all plot points all the time. Not running off together on the spot! Back to smack wins here! First up to bat is Zoro being sick and saving the day, as per the huge. Second up to bat is how once again he attacked without hesitation or much talking whatsoever. In fact, I think he was trying to take out Nami quickly. <laughs> the first time he himself likely understood just how much more powerful Zoro had become since their first fight. Huh? <laughs> I'd be surprised if there's anything more shocking in the entire arc than this happening if it's legit. But I don't think it'll be this easy, but it's still getting a win. Uh, I knew it! I'll be real though, I didn't know it, Oda tricked me massively. I feel ashamed, but it's a win regardless, because he did get me. Strangely enough, out of everyone on the crew, the one I'm most proud of is Usopp, because no one has been more injured time and again, and yet still risen to the challenge. At the same time, you must throw love at Nami, showing a bit of Zoro and Robin and Luffy right there by rushing in to save her friend with an attack at the ready with nary a thought. That's horrible to witness because, of course, we all know that it sadly does play into his insecurities of late. <laughs> this is one where the animator's got to be praised to physically show Zoro's attempt to make his way over there whilst being blasted by attacks is fantastic, I think. <laughs> That's where you scored the easiest max wins in a long time. I was a little nervous, but I didn't expect it to be Sanji, and I didn't expect such a hard kick either. Loved it, he's back. You know it was a tense moment when Zoro is actually real happy to see him. Doing that awesome rotating shot like it's no biggie. Karido. Yep, you can have one more for that. What a reply. 
Doesn't take long for Sanji to start acting like classic Sanji again or for her to reply in kind. Way too long to ever get away with showing but great zooming out shot done in stages and seeing that giant door is opening. <laughs> seeing Luffy fighting his hardest battle to date but doing so looking like a badass. Also forgot that potentially Frankie might reach Luffy in time to be able to aid in that ongoing battle too. <laughs> for a weekly anime and a battle which has been raging for a while, I'm surprised to see so many combat maneuvers. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice little twist. I'm not quite sure why he faked it for so long after they left, but still. <laughs> I'd forgotten about him. Probably the nicest thing he's ever said to Usopp, and more importantly, the thing of most significance that he's needed to hear for a while, maybe. Okay, scratch that. That's the nicest thing and most impactful thing he's ever said to him. That was amazing, and I loved the cutaway to his real face under there, showing he's truly speaking to him. How Nami is still helping so much this arc is incredible, even if it's as simple as getting Usopp out of there and putting into action Sanji's new plan. Wouldn't it kinda not be as good if Sanji just kicked his ass right away now? Is it just me who loves the consistency that not everyone is equally as strong as their opponents here? Stroke of absolute genius to see them still leaving in the foreground. His kicks, when done like this, are always such a work of art, I swear, and even that landing. Yeah. And there's another one, even better, because in spite of using Iron Body, he was moved what looked to be fairly easily there from not a massively powerful kick. Kick her back me! Oh, I love that, putting on a brave face whilst internally being like, what the hell? In the past, especially, I've given lots of wins for how cool Zoro looks, taking out and putting away his swords. This was the first time I saw Sanji do this and was like, he gets one too. That's what I meant when I wrote win number 9151. Seeing him out of breath during a big fight is great, because he's not a god. Walking in and winning the day immediately, he's fighting for his life. Ah, they totally forgot to tell Sanji that he lies before they left. How the fake origin story is given a really cheesy, cheap looking art style. <laughs> Doing the Little Red Riding Hood is a nice touch too. Just no, I can <laughs> Brilliant! So glad it turned out that way with Sanji being smart. <laughs> Touch too long to show, but it's good how Luffy is chaining together attacks now. <laughs> Sanji got the key! <laughs> After such an intense stare down. Also though, not running away on the spot. Just had to score one for being one of the best looking counters in the entire saga. Also, another quick one for him finding weaknesses now. Nothing much to say. Absolutely beautiful looking sequence that. Leaping nearby to full Sanji and then launching pretty much the best looking attack of the arc. One of those really badass looking Sanji moments that has to get one. It's an extremely rare new Sanji attack! The dude probably has the least new ones out of anyone on the crew, so this is pure hype for me. Dangerous levels of hype!
Extremely dangerous levels of hype! Like, we could get in trouble for this! Dude just landed a leg nuke! Actually getting to hear about the damage he caused. Him saying his skin burns, he's got broken bones, and Iron Body isn't doing anything! Whoever did that silky smooth piece of animation needs some serious praise. That's so damn impressive looking. Max for that one. On top of everything else, that was fantastic looking. Like the raw power behind the cake and how it was framed was the change in art style, looking like the pages of the manga. What an outstanding ending to the episode. Sanji won the day and was the reason for the great ending too. Speaking of insane amounts of power, how about Zoro nearly pushing the roof off with these attacks? That awesome little girl's forward thinking is now going to allow Sanji to get to where the most important action is now happening. What a sight! But a terrible one at that! How this horrible view is seen inside of her own mind right now. Yes, my girl! That transition from Robin up top begging for them to make it to her and Frankie on his way to where Luffy is, I tell you, this is huge for me. Best arc and saga yet. Truly next level. <laughs> Two wins. Firstly, their dynamic right now still just made me laugh. But also because Frankie has now reached the battle. I am still so hyped. <laughs> It's not a drill. Zoro has just stuck on his bandana. It's about to get real. And now it's Zoro with the new attacks. At least, I think they're new, but hell yeah, regardless. I think I said it a while back, but Zoro being annoyed at something is one of my favorite things in the entire show. <laughs> to be honest, after taking such a massive attack and clearly being damaged during it, the mere fact alone that he was able to block this attack is worthy of one. <laughs> The look of slight concern on his face after Zoro said he's going to break through his iron body technique. I know it didn't work, but goodness me what a pair of attacks that was, and you can just tell that Zoro is going next level already. And here he is totally going next level like I said! Too sick to not win! The first real time that they've come head to head and Zoro has won the exchange of strength. Let's freaking go! What I love to see here is that Luffy isn't getting dominated by any means. Yes, he's not winning, but he's constantly blocking, creating an attack of equal strength, or getting right back into it. Yet another Frankie attack! <laughs> Luffy being so insanely awesome there, seeing Frankie in a bad position and launching himself to again negate the attack. <laughs> Feels like the first time he's given Frankie an order as part of the crew, but perhaps even more importantly, it's just hit me how serious Luffy has been for so long. Normally he's jokes. Oh, 
Oda bringing this moment back into focus as Luffy says his all-important line about getting her back before she's gone forever, as obviously this is the place where he lost Tom. <laughs> that music never ever fails to make me proper emotional. It's one of the best tracks for that. I hate Luchi, but that was a straight up smart way to get out of his grasp, but also Luffy coming in with the save again! See what I'm saying? Angry Zoro never gets old, does it? Bruh, Zoro might legit be the guy who has been given the best looking attacks in all ways since the start of the anime. <laughs> Cannot tell you how glad I am that sword styles aren't simply just more powerful than more swords you add. Instead, as shown here, Zoro shuts his four sword style down. <laughs> Might be one of the best endings of a while, with how that was framed. Exactly what I meant by win number 9202. I had this fear that the battles would quickly be over now because our crew was so strong. I'm so glad that's not been the case whatsoever. All have been strong, but these are next level. <laughs> Two wins, him being motivated by Robin or him mentioning her being taken out and Zoro will soon join her. It says to me that he now fully sees her as a member of the crew, but also what in the heck is going on? I'm never going to get tired of hearing enemies praise our crew's combat prowess. Ashura. That just gave me goosebumps because it reminded me of Isaac Natero's big attack. I won't mention it here because spoilers, but oh heck yes! <laughs> Max wins because he cut through that attack, which is part of his character arc to cut through anything, but also because he was motivated by his friends, their plight, and of course, Robin. Ashura, Zoro won his battle in the coolest way possible. was gonna stick that with the last win, but the animation alone means it should have its own. He passed along the friggin' message. What a mad lad! I cannot begin to express how much I love when a villain sees the light in a moment of weakness as happens here. It's a beautiful thing and it takes Max wins for it. This view looking so stupidly good after the huge battle is finally over. All five keys in hand, everyone now making their way to Robin, so much let's go source everywhere. Strangely enough, I'm also giving this Max wins because not only was it great to see them all currently escaping thanks to the Giants, but they're carrying their huge friends there too. <laughs> Seeing such a huge piece of human engineering was actually quite sick to be fair. Definitely feels like an all-important moment is about to come to pass, because this is it now. Said it before, but dangerous levels of hype. <laughs> Credit to Robin for consistently trying to run away as well, especially since she's being affected by the sea stone cuffs the entire time. Just look at how Luffy was affected in Crocodile's Cage. No! 
Not only what I just wrote, but she actually found the strength to get loose and run away again. I love her! <laughs> Mentioned it a while back, but my god, he's legit so horrible. And bless her heart, she's biting the side there to try and stay in place. That's some insane levels of dedication. <laughs> I think a part of this also stems from her childhood, especially having been reminded of the painful past when making a declaration to live, knowing Saul and her mother wanted her to live so badly. It's amazing, I think, how much each of them has mastered their skills. Clearly his iron body is on another level to say chapapas. And in the same vein, there's the difference on display between Luffy and Frankie. I know Luffy is rubber, but he's still able to take far more hits than Frankie is right now. <laughs> Already, you can see he's gone gear 2. My prediction is this, he won't match gear 2, he'll transform, Luffy will have to switch to gear 3 to beat that, but let's see! <laughs> The fact that this change happened so quickly equals a win, because it means Luchi was hit so hard and so fast that he knew he didn't stand a chance in his normal form, so quickly changed. Yes! This means Luffy is about as strong, or maybe even a touch stronger in Gear 2. I'm gifting it Max Wins because he used Iron Body, which he's a master at, in his changed form, and still he went freaking flying when hit by Luffy. <laughs> Frankie making it out of the room at last and taking on the responsibility of saving Robin for them. <laughs> I love her so much, she's grown on me like crazy since she appeared. To go this far because she knows with all her heart that no matter what, they'll come get her is amazing. The gates being entirely open for the first time in who even knows how long, and given what the escaping personnel was saying, no one even talks about them being opened. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought it was literally opening for Robin to go through, which did seem a touch overkill, but now it makes perfect sense. So clever. How these mad lads are still out here supporting both Frankie and Luffy and the crew. You really could not have asked for a better bunch of people to have helped them this arc. That's the only downside, is that you can see he's getting really tired from using it already. God, I haven't felt this nervous since the final episode of Season 1 of My Hero Academia! I adore getting to see the infrastructure of this place up to and including now the other side of this bridge, how it's all laid out and how it all works. I hate this guy so much! Oda really deserves props for making me feel legit real hatred for him! We've really got to give thanks that due to having such a massive ego on him, he keeps on stopping, which has thankfully allowed Frankie to make up the distance. <laughs> I think maybe this was revealed right? I genuinely can't recall because I had that week off and just wrote the 100 girlfriends who really times 7 love me so a lot has happened but take a win anyway. <laughs> Is it just me, or did she look like that sad little girl again right there to anyone else, remembering all this? 
These words from Saul carrying even more importance right now than ever before, as Robin stands at the precipice to either standing tall with the truth, or her and Ahara falling forever. Love still seeing her so defiant there. Oh, come on, Frankie, please be okay, and then rush over there, my boy! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! How much more can get in the way of saving Robin? That she describes her tears as stemming from anger and not sadness here. Legit brilliant, nothing else to say. To see him finally be thrown away from her gave me such a good feeling that I'm giving them two wins here. Oh, I just thought, is that Usopp? Ah, uh, seeing her like that breaks my heart, but in a good way. <laughs> Hearing Saul's words with so much importance here again. I love that guy. And here his words come true 20 years later. I'm also tearing up because I'm so proud of Usopp. It really was something only he could do. But also, it's such an impressive thing to do. Max wins, man. She's so happy. Him taking another one to his stupid face. Frankie making it in time to shield her from the bullets. But let's not also forget that Usopp was about to launch a big attack just prior to hopefully save her too. They're all legends. That music and seeing Frankie like that made me so proud of him too. And now him joining the crew just makes the most perfect of sense. They thought of everything as Usopp also launched a package containing keys down to them. And now they have all of them. This art can't get much better, surely, can it? <laughs> She is finally free. I'm so happy you have no idea right now. For context, she thanked him personally, but I really liked how he divided credit to everyone. Might be because he's in character, but I think not. I'm sorry, that totally gets another one for that comment. Robin basically returning every hit she took from that coward, but about 10 times over. What an incredible way to end the episode and this video as well. The Buster Call has started and it came with a real powerful sound at the start too. Cannot wait for the next one. Darth Weirdo, Fiji, Mao Liao, Mushwin, Nick Windham, The Elementano Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masha, Marquez, Nozomi, Orkeeper, Audubotanisi, Steelers, The Upper Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Greer, Brian Bayard, Cameron, Christopher Tarasa, Commander Cyrus, David Freerix, Devacool, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Guru Guru, James DeFoyer, Your Edvinson, Kevin Alston, Kumfroik, Miora Night Sky, Mr. Mansuit, Nightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Robert Jackson, Ruby Rose, Satakiari, Zions 44, Sean, Starkip, Tiger Lily Warrior, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Arnador, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dante face, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Donald Newborn, Dragon Defender, Dragon Boy 1, Drake's Daughter, Iso, Francie, Furious Mo, Garrett Vermeesh, Henrik Jensen, Host Lozritter, Israel Caldera, Joe Crims, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kai Wolfspring, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevin 102, Knuckle Duster, Cody Niemeyer, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Luis Minito, Marvin, Mason Stelfer, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Miran Ardron, Modavira, Mr. Firecall, Nathaniel Gigramosa, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, Nuvagal, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Olive Wolf, Onyx Caliph, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Holoran, Porgy, that's a fish, Q Flash, Chris Harris, Rimuru, Rodiz, Roll Tide Wes, Ryan Deviri, Sadaholic, Sakumi Aorum, Sarcastic Truth, Shadow Cleanser, Snowy, Stan, Storm 970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher 340, Tomo Sandy, Vernon Hogan, Wacky Normal, Will Sass, Willyman, 